A day like today might highlight some issues your vehicle is having. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube explains why some auto shops are preparing for a storm after the storm and how you can be better prepared in cold weather. Much like the conditions of the roads during a sloppy snowfall, the owner of TNF Tire Supply in Kingston says his schedule is a mess. Everybody's schedules is impacted, so uh, we're, we got the calls this morning who couldn't come to work, who didn't, who wasn't comfortable driving. So uh, we'll probably be dealing with that mess tomorrow. Trying to fit in all the rescheduled appointments as well as a round of new ones, customary when a snow or a cold snap brings vehicles issues to light. We'll probably be busy the rest of the week, people dealing with what happened today and, and seeing that we still do have winter in northeastern Pennsylvania, cold weather and snow. Besides tires, the folks here at the shop say they handle a lot of battery issues too when it gets cold. Batteries for slow cranking or not cranking at all or dead batteries not charging. Cold weather takes a lot of <laughs> a lot of when the engine's cold it takes a lot of voltage to turn the engine over to get it started. That's especially the case for newer cars with a lot of electronics inside. There are so many microprocessors in today's modern car that it requires a lot of power. So even if you're not driving a lot, that battery could be drained. In addition to checking your batteries, if you want to avoid a trip to the shop in between snowstorms, you should check your fluids too. You do want to make sure you have checked the engine oil level. For one, make sure your oil is sufficient and clean for the winter, for going into winter. And you also want to top off the windshield washer so you can clean your windshield as you're going down the road with this, you know, with the roads are so sloppy right now. If you're not savvy with vehicles, the folks here at TNF recommend getting a winter car checkup before hitting the road. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.